Hey, this is Ihab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rubber hose like this in Maya and how to have it rigged like this using an IK handle and a pole vector that controls the bend of that hose. So let's jump into it. Woohoo! So the starting point would be making the hose coil. Go to edit, duplicate special option box, duplicate it as an instance. This way, any modification that I would like to do in the future, I would only have to do it for only one of the coils, which is very helpful because later on, we might figure out that those coils don't really fit together well. The other thing that I want to do is to make sure that the spacing between those coils goes only into the grid. This way, when I duplicate them, they would be all aligned together. And then later on, when I create the joints, all I have to do is to snap the joints on the grid in order for them to be exactly in the center of those coils. And because the grid is my guide, then the spacing between those coils is going to be one on the translate. So if I were to go here and duplicate this quickly without the instance, I'm gonna click and hold X and push this up you would notice that it's going a value of one on the translate y i can simply go here and select the coil make sure that i'm selecting instance instead of copy here you have x y and z so for the translate i'm going to put it to one and i'm going to put the amount of those coils to be 10 and hit apply and you can see they're exactly on the grid. In the meantime, because they're instanced, if I decide later to make some modification, it's going to apply it for all of them. And at this point, I'm gonna have to create the joints. So I'm gonna go into rigging, skeleton, create joints. I'm gonna click four on the keyboard so I can see through the geometry in the wireframe mode, then Alt B to change the background color. So now this is currently the best view for me to add those joints. I'm gonna click and hold X or I can just click on this button so it's gonna to keep the snapping locked on the grid. And now I can create the joints that I want. If I wanna open the hierarchy of the joints, it's going to go one by one. But if I'm interested in seeing the whole thing, I can just click and hold shift and then with the left mouse button click, it's gonna open everything there. Because I'm clicking and holding shift, as I am selecting, it's going to give me that inherited animation effect. So the goal is eventually to parent those coils into the joints. Coil, control, select the father, hit P. Then select, control, P, select, control, P. With these selected, now you can see that I have full control over the hose coils. I can also make this movement. And here's the area where I would go and investigate if the coils are doing okay. So that's something where I can go and double click. What I need to do next would be applying the IK solver. Rigging, skeleton, create IK handle. Now we double click here to ensure that it's actually rotate plane solver, close. I'm gonna hit four on the keyboard. To apply the IK rigging, I would need to start with the child. Next, I'm gonna select on the father. Now at this point, the result is gonna look like this. Instead of having that hose bend, it's making this issue. It's as if it's not working. And the reason why we get this issue is because Maya doesn't know what is the orientation that I want to be applied on these joints. So what I need to do is to set that orientation. So I'm going to go here into the outliner, select the father, shift select the child, apply some rotation. So with the joint selected, right mouse button, I'm going to get these options including set preferred angle. And now Maya knows exactly what is the preferred angle of that IK push. I'm gonna go here and set it this to zero. Now when I take that IK and push it down, so it looks great. It's just that now I need to have control over the orientation of that bend. And that's why I need to apply what is called pole vector. But before I do so, let me set this back and I need to first create a master controller for the whole rigging system and a master controller for that IK handle. To do so, I'm going to go to create. Hey, 
edit, delete by type, history, also modify, freeze transformation. I'm going to select the IK handle, shift select its controller and hit P. And I'm going to select the joints father, select the master controller, hit P. So now the effect that I have is this. So with these set up, what I want to do now is to apply the pole vector. So I'm going to bend that hose a little bit. And keep in mind that it's really important that before you apply this controller as the parent, freeze the transformation. This way, anytime you make any modifications, you can always go and set this to zero so it would go back to the neutral position. In order for me to have a pole vector controller, I need to create either by typing here circle. I can either create the circle this way or by going to the create menu. So now that I have the master controller, the IK controller, and the pole vector controller ready, what I want to do is to make them easier to be identified. So for instance, I'm going to select this one as an example, hit control A, and go to the object display, drawing override, enable overrides, and I can give it any color that I want. So lastly, I want to apply the pole vector constraint. So I'll select the curve and then control select the IK handle and then go to constraint pole vector. I can now choose the direction of that bend. 